Okay, let's look at the uh, our contents. We're going to be looking at, okay, what is personality? What is self? What is severe MPD? We just did discuss that. In astrology, how do we find identity? Because identity is very much part of personality. Not all of personality, but part of it. Four cor- the four, we're going to look at some areas how to find groupings in the chart that show distinct personalities. Um, natal aspects common to severe MPD. We're going to look at some simple examples. Then we're going to look at how the natal chart has four aphetic points, also called hylegacheal high, points. They're centers of life. They show your center, actually have four centers of I am awareness in this chart and personality, not one. Every chart has four. Um, modern etiology compared with lost ancient etiologies. So the modern etiology is a one trick pony. They say that all MPD, all results from terrible shock and trauma in one's childhood. And so the question is then, why do so few people develop it? I don't know about you. I don't know a single kid I grew up with in the inner city that did not suffer from severe shock and trauma as a child. And so why only do some people develop severe MPD? And is this the only possible explanation We must ask ourselves this question. It is the only one being entertained, except by the maverick psychologists and psychiatrists. There is a wonderful um, video you can watch on uh, Jeffrey Mishlove's um, Thinking Aloud. Uh, It's by it's Adam Crabtree. He was the psychologist who worked with the three faces of Eve lady, which we're going to see her chart. Christine Costner Sizemore. And he wrote a book called, I think it's called Multiple Personality and Possession. And he's a very, very substantial man, very uh, filled with veracity in his manner. I love that. A very brief uh, podcast. Um, So we'll be looking at that. Um, We're going to compare it to uh, three ancient lost etiologies. Some new ideas that I came up with. Look at the houses. We're going to look at some case studies now. Very important. It was impossible to find any but one timed true case of severe multiple personality disorder, which is very rare indeed. Uh, There was a second I found that later turned out to be a fraudulent case written to make money. And there are several cases I could get just with an untimed birth chart. But you really do need a timed birth chart for these because the ascendant and its ruler are two of our four centers of life, pulse and and self-awareness, different kinds of self-awareness. And the astrologer can't just run around saying, oh, the sun's the personality, oh, the moon's the personality, oh, the ascendant's the personality. No, they're all different. They're like, look, you have to know the machine to read a chart. You have to be a good mechanic. So we will be going into this today, and it couldn't be more useful to people learning charts. So let's, so our, our, we're also going to look at uh, two cases of famous comedians who nearly constantly change personality and voices. They, in fact, they're so compulsive when interviewed, they cannot stop doing it. And I'm always sitting there going, well, where's, who, where's the real person? Where's the real person? And because um, it doesn't seem to be there. Uh, and then the famous case of Christine Costner Sizemore, who had, I don't know how many personalities that came through her. Very, very different. She, oh, the other thing, the severe MPD person is unaware of the, the, the personalities may be unaware of each other. And they may be unaware of the other personalities. I mean, this is scary, spooky stuff. 